Hello, in this playlist going strong, we have here General V. P. Malik, who was Indian Army's 19th Chief of Army Staff. He headed Indian Army during the crucial Kargil operations. It is a matter of pride and honor for us to get this opportunity to speak to General Malik. Now, my first question to you is, Sir, you were Indian Army's chief from September 97 to September 2000. Uh, we would like to know how have you kept yourself occupied during these 23 years after you shed uniform? Thank you, Nalinder. Thank you for having me in your program. Um, yes, uh, I have kept myself adequately busy ever since I retired on 30th September 2000. Uh, soon after retirement, I raised a security studies chapter in the Observer Research Foundation in Delhi. I was also nominated to the National Advisory Board, National Security Advisory Board uh, by the government, where I spent two terms. Uh, I also took up uh, independent directorship of some uh, listed companies. Some of them were multinational companies. Uh, thereafter, I started writing my book. Uh, as you know, I have written two books, uh, Cargill from Surprise to Victory and uh, India's Military Conflicts and Diplomacy, an inside view of decision making. Uh, I have been lecturing in uh, various universities, uh, participating in discussions on the think tanks, and I have also been uh, uh, talking on strategy issues, on leadership and motivation in many of the uh, corporate uh, discussions and companies. So I have kept myself adequately busy, and that is how uh, I kept myself happy also. Uh, now, sir, you brought it out uh, very well and from this comes out my next question that, uh, but for you, there is hardly any previous chief or army commander as articulate on matters of higher defense management. What, according to you, are the reasons for them not to effectively communicate after they have come out of uh, the army? Uh, Nilinder, uh, I remember General Sundarji wrote a book, uh, something to do with nuclear warfare. So it's not that nobody has written uh, something or spoken about these things uh, earlier. But uh, the fact is that earlier days we had large number of restrictions on um, retiring uh, officers, particularly chiefs, uh, even um, not to write anything, they had to take permission from the government uh, if they wrote any, anything to do with the defense services. Things have changed now, circumstances have changed, even the whole concept of uh, confidentiality and uh, secret uh, aspects have also changed. And uh, now you see more and more people uh, have started writing or uh, speaking about it. The other thing uh, we must also remember is that, uh, you know, speaking in public on certain issues which can be controversial. Uh, so, it, one has to be careful because it is a double-edged weapon. You can be trolled, you can be uh, publicly ticked off, uh, you can um, be, you know, uh, so people are shy. Uh, but as I said that now more and more people have started taking to uh, speaking or writing. That it is so, sir. And uh, my last question in this video is, sir, that in the backdrop of uh, setting up of the chief of defense staff, then um, the commands being assigned to women officers, uh, court intervention on the matter relating to one rank, one pension, then uh, more recently criticism of the Agnivir, the new policy, uh, shrinking of cantonment area limits and many such decisions. Uh, do you see now 
that there is a, a trend of the political hierarchy bringing greater control uh, on the armed forces? Uh, yes, uh, not only uh, these uh, peacetime issues that you have narrated, uh, Nilinder, but even during war. Sure. If you recall, uh, yes. when we fought Kargil war, yes. we were uh, told not to cross the line of control and uh, our international border. So there are uh, these restrictions and uh, why? Because today public holds the political leaders uh, more and more accountable. And then you know the kind of competition that we have in the political uh, arena between the parties. Uh, are they, uh, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I will only say that yes, it is happening. And I feel that when it comes to the personal affairs of the people, unless it has a very large uh, financial aspects, I think the services should be permitted to carry on as they have been doing in the past. Uh, and uh, the other thing is that uh, um, the senior officers, people who have retired, I think they should also uh, not interfere or speak about issues which are being handled by the present hierarchy. We've had our days, we've done our duty, and now I think it is the responsibility as well as accountability of the people who are now holding these appointments. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, this brings us to the end of uh, first video. In the next video, uh, we will talk about uh, Agnivir and uh, its relationship on combat preparedness. Thank you, sir.